Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this will be really about uh, William and Harry and their each understanding what their mother and their father were involved in from different perspectives because you've got to remember you know we on the outside get the choice of all these representations of what's been happening two young boys growing up on the inside will be exposed to the representations that their family tells them is true and why wouldn't they believe that and even the family you know once you kind of convince yourself that a thing happened a certain way for a certain reason and you justify it and then why are you going to try to explain that to your two uh, children that deeply you're not you're going to give them the story that satisfies their questions they're not going to ask many more questions after that and uh, why and it's almost as if they're stuck in a time uh, capsule in a story that may not be exactly um, you know as full of details as it could be and who, who of us knows what in fact the details are but certainly uh, if, it, if it's something ugly, you're not going to teach that to your children. You're going to tell them your cleaned up version of it, and that's what they grew up with. And then this American comes in and marries Harry and experiences all of this uh, stuff. And it clicks with her because she's seen the outside worlds look into their story. And she puts it together in probably a different way than Harry even ever thought of, you know. And now these two men can't talk about this and and understand why um, the other one is acting the way they are and maybe Harry understands it better than than uh, his brother does which is very interesting so this is the revival art tarot by Turaco Turaco or Turacho I'm not sure studios uh, this is a deck that comes to me somehow I think from Russia via Norway but um, they're beautiful cards they were a little pricey and um, but I love to use them there are lots of art the guidebook that comes with them, Revival Art Guidebook, is, um, you know, leaves a lot to be desired. You, know, you can't really read it. It's tiny, tiny print. But on the uh, upside, there's nothing in here that's particularly um, earth shattering as far as how to use the cards for divination. So, you know, no loss that it's a bad uh, guidebook. However, the cards are just amazing. And uh, the art goes right to the edge on these cards. They're really beautiful, and I love using them. And, uh, you know, I do this to sort of, sort of mix up the cards and to give folks who don't uh, purchase tarot cards or look at uh, full decks of tarot cards very often the chance to see, you know, more of what the deck looks like. Otherwise, you just kind of see the first few, uh, the first, only the cards that are uh, dealt or that are turned over. So there you go. Uh, that's this. Uh, Taracho Revival Art Studio uh, deck and I think they're beautiful and I love using them. Um, they're pretty pretty cool. So this is an interesting question and I think it's a question in more families um, across the world in so many situations so similar that no one addresses. Or that are uh, you know these secrets are discovered or ferreted out um, uh, very s seldom. Um, so yeah, the question I, I don't know what the question for the cards is, but the question is which truth is uh, blocking the reunion of these two these two boys? Um, is it the? It's both truths. I can tell you, it's both truths. Uh, they grew up believing what they were taught as children in the monarchy. Imagine that. And then um, now Harry gets kind of a fresh look at what the rest of the world has been looking at. And maybe he's got a different take. He's probably got the same take I do. So what is the question? Will Harry and William ever really know the truth? Will Harry and William ever really know the truth? Will Harry and William really ever know the truth? <clears throat> so 
So we'll see. Let's try with six cards right off the top. One, two, three, four, five, and six. It's such a huge, huge question. Um, let's just see what the cards say. One, two, three, four, five, six. So Harry and William, will they know the truth? But you know, I've got to say, in a you know, in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, maybe that's too big of a question. No, we'll just leave it at that. Harry and Reagan, uh, Harry and uh, and uh, and William, will they know the truth? Signifier card is. The fool. So, how to take that? So, the fool. The fool is, is uh, strictly speaking, the beginning of a journey. So, you're starting out. You think you've got everything that you need. Uh, you're just looking at the world with uh, innocent optimism and uh, and ready to uh, set off on the, on the journey. So, this is the beginning of this journey for the truth. And, you know, one or both of them may not even know that. The challenge to that, because this is all hidden behind uh, the uh, racist um, insinuations uh, about the color of, of the baby, the first baby. So but this uh, could be the beginning of that, of looking for that truth about what uh, their mother and their father really went through. So the challenge to that is um, the two of coins. You know, the two of coins is a temperance, you know, finding a balance. Um, juggling this and that making it, it work out but you know to me this card symbolizes kate middleton it seems to me that um she is going to be carrying water for this uh, monarchy in 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 a way uh not quite equal to what the queen mother did because you got to remember that uh, she was queen mother when the city uh, of london or not queen mother but she was queen uh when the city of london was being torn apart uh, by german bombs but uh, this is kate middleton to me <clears throat> so the challenge to this journey, I don't know why it would be uh, her as a challenge, but maybe it's just the fact that she is trying to, um, and the only, um, and again, now the truth that she uh, will understand is what uh, this monarchy wants to push forward. Okay, so she's carrying the water for the monarchy, and that could be one of the steps along the way. Uh, so this could be uh, the temperament uh, of this fool uh, as this journey starts. The uh, basis of this reading then is the seven of coins and look at that so this this woman is this maiden is wondering you know is this garden uh, well done well enough have i finished with it have i brought everything to bloom that i should and you know again this looks like kate Middleton to me and uh, these this uh beautiful uh, english garden to me uh makes me think of her family and i wonder if she's thinking uh should they have another child it's just been in my head for a while and uh, this looks like a, a, the perfect opportunity to mention it because the seven of coins is in fact uh, always wondering have i done enough uh, should is there more is there something else that needs to be uh, worked on here um, do i like it, how this has worked out have i done enough in the past of uh, this reading about whether these two men will know the honest truth well there's a great big ace of coins there a great big offer of value and so i think this is what has happened the truth has been offered up and um not everyone has has decided to pick up the um you know take the invitation because the truth is out there for anyone to find okay outside of the confines when I mean, you just stay up late and uh google and um, and youtube uh, everything you want and then uh, try to decide what of that is produced in some sort of a, an honest way and then uh, maybe come to a, a an enhanced uh conclusion on your own in the sky of this about whether they'll know enough so there's an offer here so it's a journey uh, uh, challenged by a, a balancing act uh, and um, and wondering if enough has been done. And of course, we know that it hasn't. This could even mean is the family large enough for William and, and Catherine. And then the offer is all the information that's really out there. In the sky of this reading is the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is the one that's worrying over, gosh, what uh, is usually, it's usually depicted by three spilt cups and two the cups that still are, are good. And you have to wonder, you know, quit crying over spilt milk and, uh, and pick up what you've got and get on your way. But the fact that this shows me an old woman in a very contemplative mode here, uh, you know, I have to take this through that I think this is Catherine. I think this is Catherine coming along here. And so I believe um, she's an old woman here. How old is this woman in this picture? This woman is probably um, 
65 or 70 years old, according to the, the way folks would have aged at the time that these pictures were taken. I mean, she may be even much younger than that. This could be a 60 or 65 year old woman uh, in this uh, maybe medieval, medieval time. So, but in any event, it's, it's an older woman. And I mean, I wonder if this is telling us that, no, it won't be known at least until then. But then the final outcome of this is the uh, Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups, so this is some uh, handsome young man uh, uh, bringing forth tons of emotion and I wonder if this is something that's going to happen. Uh, one of the heirs that we don't even know about, maybe that uh, people my age will never ever know because we'll be long gone. But I wonder if this could be a knight offering up um, some uh, compassion here for understanding. Uh, I'm just going to carry this on through, and this will just be a fantasy reading today, I guess. Um, for, so for the self of this question as to whether uh, these two men will know the truth, so far it's looking to me that we're following uh, Catherine's uh, legacy really as queen, uh, that she will be, and uh, and it looks like uh, she's going to be an old woman, and when in fact that might be when some young uh, knight of cups uh, brings forth uh, an offer. But the self of this question is will, will uh, they, um, William and Harry uh, know the truth, is um, the Queen of Coins. Oh my God, Queen of Coins. So the truth, I think, is going to depend on Catherine. And it's going to be sometime later. Man, man. Okay, so um, that's the self. It's the, the truth is going to, that's why we're following Catherine's life here. Uh, if the truth is going to depend on her, then what is the, um, um, the environment that that will come in? And we have here a Nine of Swords. And a Nine of Swords is just nightmarish. I mean, it's just, you know, not having a piece with something that you know or something that you look that you've, you've at this at this time you would have read a book or read a story or come to know something that you just say, oh, of course, it's going to be when she finally uh, understands uh, what actually happened. OK, so when she finally understands what actually happened, man, and uh, if we look at the age of this woman here, this would have been a young woman in that era, actually. I feel so I don't know so so that's what that's an environment in when, when and then the hopes of the fears for all that is um, let's take this card right here um, this is the uh, ace of wands the hopes of the fears the ace of wands you know wands are action movement planning uh, going forward ace and look at this that this ace happens to be depicted with a with a royal crown um, so anyway there's gonna be some movement uh, some royal uh, planning uh, that involves this, and then the um, likely outcome of the whole thing, will William and Harry ever know the truth, is strength. It's a nice ending. That's a nice ending. And look who comes up with the strength. The strength is all uh, really, you, you feel like the strength is in this very uh, masculine uh, image of a lion, but we know that the strength is really right here in the feminine. She has all of this very comfortably under control. And again, I think this is still uh, Queen Catherine. I sure do. So that's my interpretation. Take it or leave it. Well, that's not the kind of reading I would normally film anyway. But uh, to me, it looked like the, the, the answer was to the question, will William and Harry ever really know the truth about their mother and their father's relationship? Uh, really just kind of followed the life of uh, Catherine. And uh, so we started out uh, as a signifier of that question, just a fool, a journey, starting out fresh and challenged by, you know, I've always seen this uh, two of cups as uh, Catherine uh, carrying uh, two of coins, rather, Catherine carrying water for the uh, monarchy. I've always seen her as that. Um, and then the basis of that was this beautiful woman just wondering, have I done enough? And, you know, she's looking at her garden, and uh, so it makes you wonder, uh, what is Catherine wondering as to whether she's done enough? Maybe more family. Who knows? And, you know, I, the, I said in another reading that it could be eight or nine months between before something starts to move in this regard. But anyway, the uh, the past of this reading was a great big uh, ace of coins, which is all the information that's, that's out there, all the knowledge that's available for anyone to, to learn uh, what happened during that time. And then as the uh, the sky in this reading, we came with the uh, five of cups, just an old uh, woman crying over what was lost. And it made me think that this is either Catherine's future, you know, maybe uh, 50 or 60 years old. The, um, the best outcome for that was this Knight of Cups, and it makes me think there's some young uh, um, emergent from the royal family that brings that information forward. Could be uh, one of the uh, princes uh, now, uh, George or Archie. Of course, Archie's going to be a prince, but, you know. The self of that came through with the Queen of Coins. That's Catherine. The challenge to that 
was the Nine of Swords, really nightmares, and I think it's the knowledge that she she has. And then uh, the hopes and the fears uh, were the uh, the Ace of Wands, but it's topped by a perfect uh, royal uh, crown for that Ace of, uh, let's get some plans going here. And then uh, the likely outcome of the whole thing, of course, was strength. Uh, really, the male is dominated by the feminine, as usual. So that's what we got. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. Thank <laughs> you.